guys, it's Thea from Hallmark. I'm here with my friend Em. She's gonna teach us how to make these awesome royal frosting sugar cookies perfect for Christmas. Okay, Em, show me how you make these beautiful royal icing cookies. So um, traditional sugar cookies are really easy to make, but then we also made the royal frosting, which is really simple. It's just three ingredients. It's cool. powdered sugar mixed with lemon juice and egg whites. And then you add your color. Um, I always bag mine like this in the disposable icing bags, which you can pick up at any craft store. Okay, I'm a little intimidated because these are so pretty, so Let's do it. All right. Start with an easy one. So okay. maybe a tree or right. a mitten. Or the state of Michigan, depending how you look at it. <laughs> and then pick a frosting color. All right, I'm gonna do white because Michigan's usually pretty snowy right now. I will say this literally is the first time I have done this, so. <laughs> like a coloring book when you were a kid, you're mm -hmm. gonna start on an edge and just make an outline all the way around the cookie. Oh, okay, this is actually way easier than I anticipated. So once you've got your outline, then just start um, scribbling inside. And you don't have to cover every spot. You can have little oh, okay. gaps. All right, that looks so good. I can't believe that's your first cookie. Oh, you are too kind. I'm, I am incredibly proud of myself right now. That's right. I, I feel like Miss America. It looks good. I feel like I can take on something a little harder now. Maybe, maybe a tree. It's kind of like a toothpaste tube. You just want to keep kind of the tension at the top yeah. tight so that you have better control at the bottom. That is a great tip. All right, I thought I had it. Got a little messy here on the bottom. Just give it one quick shake. Okay. It'll look great. Perfect. All right, and then we're gonna just do some simple stripes, and they don't have to be perfect. All right, so we've got a solid color down. We've got some stripes of a second color, and we're gonna take a toothpick and just drag through it. Oh, man. And you can do it both directions too. So you can drag down or you can change it and go up. Oh wow, this looks really good. And then the secret shake again. Shaking Looks good. the Christmas tree. Oh yeah, that So the trick is, is awesome. if you put two colors together while they're both wet, they mix together and lay flat like that. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, um, I was really nervous about making these, but I am super impressed with how easy they were. Right. You can't even tell which ones you made. They look perfect. That's what she thinks. <laughs> um, so tell me, like, how do you bring these to different parties or kind of what's the best way to keep them around? Um, they'll last several days with royal frosting. You don't have to refrigerate them. So if you're going to a party soon, you can leave them on a platter like this. Um, if you want to keep them a little longer for Christmas or ship them to someone and keep them fresh, you want an airtight container. So you can style up a mason jar of any size and stick cookies in there. So Super that will cute. keep them. Cookie tins are also perfect for that. I've got a couple other kinds of cookies in here from a different cookie swap. Oh, great. And then to make things look fancy, I use just cupcake liners. Stick them in there and they work perfect for dividers for different kinds oh, of cookies. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Let me know if you guys try any of these. I'd love to see your designs. Um, and hopefully they look better than my snowman. Snowman challenge. Who can do better than me? <laughs> it's everyone. <sighs> Thanks so much, Em. This was too much fun. So, see you guys all later. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. What is the next step for this kid one? Um, I think similar to this, we're gonna just put a focal point near the top of your stocking. So this um, ribbon will work? That ribbon will work great. There we go. So we're gonna just thread this through the